What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Uh, real quick, I'm an idiot. I don't know if you could tell. I'm kind of wet. It kind of dried a little bit. Um, so I went out earlier today. I bought frozen salmon burgers. And I just left them in my car for two hours. No reason why. I went out only to do a couple things. One of them was especially to get salmon burgers. Left them in my car. It's been two hours. Just ran outside. in the pouring rain. It's been a beautiful day, but for some reason it's pouring rain just in the five minutes that I realized I need to run outside. And yeah, so I hope those salmon burgers are okay. I felt them, they started the frosting a little bit, but I think I'll be fine. Um, so anyway, if you saw a couple of videos ago, uh, Paul and I went to Walmart and I picked up one of those Keurig cups where you could fill in whatever you want. Uh, so I just wanna show you guys what I'm gonna be doing right now. So the whole idea of this is that you can choose whatever coffee you want and you're not limited to what they sell in K-Cups. I bought this Trader Joe's brand coffee that smelled really good and I tried a sample of it. I poured it into this Tupperware container. Here is the K-Cup. You're supposed to fill it to the filter line or a little above it. It's above the filter line. Uh, I'm gonna make this now. All right, so we're gonna put this in the Keurig. I'm gonna do it twice because the biggest setting is only 10 ounces. I want 20 ounces, so I'll make it now and I'll let you know what I think when I drink it, when it cools off in just a little bit. All right, snap it shut. Lift the Keurig, put it in, close it. Where's my cup? We don't have a cup. Just a second. Okay, there's my cup that I stole from Flying Steel. I saved it from Bagel Boss. So this is a 20 ounce cup. The biggest setting, like I said, is only 10 ounces, so it's gonna fill up twice. Don't need to show you this. There's nothing special about the Keurig itself, um, but I'll let you know what I think about it when it's done. All right, I think it failed. It filled up the cup, and this is what it looks like after. Like most of the beans, or most of the grinded up coffee is still there and it just looks wet. I don't even know what to do now, if I should stick it in again or what. Something tells me it's just a huge fail. Um, I mean, there's coffee in there, but I don't know. So, I mean, as you can see, it made a cup of coffee, but it didn't work very well. I don't know if I'm doing this wrong or I got a bad filter, but I mean, look at, I don't think this is what it's supposed to look like when it's done. I assume that more of this is supposed to be gone. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. Overall, a huge fail. I'll let the coffee cool down and I'll try it, but I don't think it's gonna be a very positive experience. Disappointed. All right, the coffee cooled off. I'm gonna try it. Not a good feeling about this. It doesn't really taste like anything. It's kind of weak. So I don't know if I did something wrong. I don't know if I just bought a really cheap reusable K-Cup at Walmart. If any of you have any experience, leave a comment below. Let me know if I did something wrong and any advice because I was really looking forward to this and now I have all this Trader Joe's coffee that I'm never going to be able to have. Uh, but anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the workout. So I'm taking you through my latest bench press workout. I'm not going to show you everything. I'm going to show you the sets of bench and I'm also going to show you the boring but big overhead press that I do, which is at it's five sets of three at ninety percent of my max. Um, but here you see me doing bench. This is week three on five three one, so this is the five three one rep week, meaning I do five reps, then three reps, then an M rep set, followed by a single this is the M rep set here. Um, but anyway, what I wanted to actually discuss while you see this is a weird thing that I've noticed. A couple of videos ago, I talked about how you can get stronger without actually getting any bigger. And as you know, my goal right now, it's not really to add any size, it's only to get stronger. And don't get me wrong, it's not that I don't want to get bigger, it's that I'm so close to my genetic potential, I believe, that the amount of effort I need to put in to add size, it's just not worth it compared to the amount of effort that I would need to put in to gain strength. So it's not that I don't want to get bigger, it's just that it's going to take me at this point a year of really trying just to add like a pound of muscle. Um, that's why I was aiming for strength, not size. It's also more fun for me. 
Um, but anyway, what I've noticed was I've been training now for strength for about a year, and I've actually added more muscle this year than I have in the previous several years put together. Uh, when I started doing 531, I was weighing around like 162, 163. And right now I'm weighing like between 168 and 170. And I'm actually leaner at this weight than I was at the 162 to 163. So even though I was not intending to actually add any muscle, just by changing my training style so drastically, my body responded by adding muscle. So obviously I'm not complaining about that at all. But what this really goes to show is don't be afraid to try a different training style. Maybe you're a bodybuilder and you've always trained like a bodybuilder and you're scared to train kind of like a power lifter because you're scared you're going to lose muscle and you think that it's not beneficial for you. Um, but I think I'm kind of living proof that shows you could train like a power lifter. Sure, it's only been one year, but you can train kind of like a power lifter and still get bodybuilding results and stronger at the same time. Now, I'm not training strictly like a power lifter because I do plenty of accessory work to keep that bodybuilding stuff in there. Uh, but my shoulders and my back have made tremendous improvements in this past year. And I believe the shoulders have improved from overhead press, even though the strength hasn't gone up as much as I'd like. And I do believe that my back thickness has improved tremendously from the heavy deadlifts. So the video is coming to an end in a few um, seconds here. But basically what I wanted to say is don't be afraid to try a new style of training. You may be surprised uh, the results that it could bring. It's fun to change things up. Now don't jump from routine to routine because that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is after an extended period of time, if you've been training for years like a, cer a certain way, try training a different way. And you, you might be surprised how your body responds to it. Because without trying it, you'll never know how you respond. But anyway, the video is coming to an end. If you liked the video, please do me a favor. Just click that like button below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.